friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen, this is Intentional Living, and today we're doing a cash on stuffing and it is going to be a very big one. So we are going to dive in and start unstuffing all of the spending I've done over the last like three weeks, probably. Um, I haven't been using cash and I just need to pay off my credit card. So that is the plan today. And we are going to get started in my bills binder just because I think it will be the fastest. Um, so we're gonna start today with some gym expenses. We are gonna pop around a bit, so I'm sorry if that stresses you out. Um, but gym today, we had $50 for my gym membership that I need to pay, so 20, 40, 50. And then, $20 for small group classes. So we will pay up those. And then let's see. That's it for this page. Utilities is next. Utilities, there's quite a bit I need to pull out. So I need to pull out $76 for my June energy bill. We'll pull out 75 right now. And then 35. So 20, 30, 40. So let's see. You know, let's put all this back. Okay, so we had 76 plus 35 plus 6 for gas. So 117 needs to come out. Okay, so I'm definitely going to have to make a change. So let's do that first. So let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 10 for a 10. So now we should be able to do this. So, okay, $76, 50, 70, 576 and then 35 20 35 and then six one two three four gosh okay so putting in a 20 and let's take out 10 15 and 20. So now we should be able to take out six, five, six. Okay. There is utilities. Household, I need to pull out 32. So we'll make change for this 20. Can't, okay. Never mind. Let's do Google the groceries first. Groceries, we need to pull out 86. Okay, we're gonna need more ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll pull out this ten. So let's go back to household. I'm sorry if this is chaotic. So we'll make change for a Okay. So we have 60 in household and we need to take out 32. So we should be left with 28. So 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. That is easier. So 28 in household. Groceries, we have 50, 150, 60, 160, and we're taking out 86. So we should have 74 left. So 50, 70, 1, 2, 3, and 4. For groceries. And then, let's 
Let's make sure that that is it in here. No, Apple, we need to pull out money in Apple. Apple needs to take out $9. So 50 minus nine means we should have 41. So 20, 41 in the Apple. Monthly giving, we need to take out 26. So we'll take out 30 and put back four. So we have 24 now in giving. Roth IRA, I need to take out 275. So 100, 150, 200, 250, 75. Is all good. Phone bill, we need to take out 60. So 50 and 60. Let's double check, but I think that might be it for this envelope or this binder. Okay, yes, I believe that's it for the Bills binder, which was a lot still. And then let's do my wallet next. So I went to a speakeasy and spent $33, so we'll take 33 out of weekend fun. So, we have 20, Let's do 40. So 40 minus 33 means I need to put back $7. And let's make some change. One, two, three, four, five. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And we'll take out this 10. So we'll put back in seven, five, six, seven into here for weekend fun. And then we need to take out $18 because I went to a bar called Boxcar. So we'll take out a 20 and put back two. Okay. And then that's it for weekend fun. So let's see how much we have left. 25, 35, 41, 2, 3, 4, 44 left in here, which we will leave. Self care medical or cash envelopes, coffee, we can take out 10. I spent a lot out of coffee. So 10 from here. And then another 10 for Duncan. And then 15 for Brugers. So we'll put back a five. But I know I spent this as well. Another 20 from Brugers. So we'll take out this five and then I owe myself 15 still. So we'll take that out of weekend fun. 5, 10, 15. So, got that one. And then I think that's it for coffee. Yes. Okay. And then, Eating out, I went to Torchy's Tacos and spent $15. Pull that out of here. So 
So we'll take out a 20 and put back a five for torchies. And then 10 for lunch when I was in Massachusetts. So we'll take out a 20 and put back a 10. And then $10 for Duncan because I ate lunch there one day. And then, oh, I don't have a final amount on that. Let's see. Okay, I spent $25 at the cantina, so we'll take a 20 and a five out. Oops. And then I think that's it. Yes. Okay, so we still have $60 in eating out. And then let's see, I know there's some lunches in here. Lunches, I spent $19 at Jasmine one day, which is like a Mediterranean place. Let's put it one back for that. And then Starbucks, I spent $10 because I got a sandwich there. And then that is that. So for lunches, we spent 20, 30, or we still have 20, 35, 41. And then I do believe we have some miscellaneous expenses. Yes, USPS, I spent $2, so let's see, I'm going to take this five out and put in five ones. One, two, three, four, five, and we spent $2, so I'll take these two out. I bought this magnet in, oh, that's really bad, in Boston, and I'm going to pull that out of miscellaneous as well. And that was $5. I thought I had another miscellaneous expense, but maybe not. All right, so we still have five, six, seven, and eight dollars in miscellaneous in my wallet. And I think that's it for the wallet. Now we can move on to my cash envelopes. Let's see, self-care, we can definitely take money out of. So I need to take 142 for the wax package. So 150 and then we can put back eight. Five. And then we need a new change. So six, seven, and eight. And then 13 we can take out for tip. So I'll take five or let's take these three ones out one two three and then we'll take out a 20 and put back a 10 so we have 35 left in self-care medical we can take out ten dollars there's that Um, those are all sinking funds. Toiletries, we can take out $17. So I'll take out a 20 and put back three. One, two, three. So five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 left in toiletries. And then 
date night. We can take out $272 and that was from a really nice dinner we had at Angus Barn and that was for my boyfriend's birthday. So we'll take out 272. So 150, 200, 250, 270, 275. One, 250, 75, and we'll put back three. One, two, three. So now we have eight dollars in date night. Medical, we can take out another ten for counseling. And then still don't know where I'm pulling these Uber charges out of. So we'll do those last, I think. So I think that's it for cash envelopes, actually, which was less than I thought. And we'll move on to our sinking funds. So gifts is up first. And I put $100 towards my brother and his wife's um, stroller on their registry. So it was like an $800 stroller and I could not afford that, but I could afford to give a hundred. So I did that. So we'll pull that. And then I got them some books for $28. So we'll pull out 30 and put back two, which I need to make change for. So put back two. So 50, 62. And then, oh, giving. I think I forgot giving in my cash envelopes. I did get a gift card to give to someone at Walgreens. So we spent $56. So we'll pull out 60 and we'll put back four. So 10, 15, 21, two, three, four. 24 in there. Family vacay is in big blue, so is seasonal activities. Planners, though, is in here. And I spent $95 on a golden coil work planner. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that. So 50, 70, 95. We'll pull out for that. And we still have $10 in planners. Gifts, we can pull another 32 out for, I got these um, picture frames for the wedding shower that I ended up giving to my sister-in-law. So we'll pull out, let's pull out 52 and then we can put back 20. So now we have 30 in gifts. Birthdays, for Colin's birthday, I got him um, a dog, but also a dog ramp, and that was 204, so we'll just take 205, because we don't need, well, no, we'll put the dollar back, because then it can go to my dollar savings challenge. So, there's that. And then those are in big blue. Gifts we're pulling more from. I hope I have enough. We'll have to see. So I'm pulling $26 for a shirt that I got Colin. And we'll pull out the 30 and put back four. And there is not enough. So I need change and now I'll put back one, two, three, four into gifts. This we are going to have to find another category for because we don't have enough in there. So we'll do that in a minute. And that's it. So I need to find some categories for some of these. So let's look. So we're done with this binder for sure. I think I'm gonna go to my wallet and pull the lifts and Ubers out of here. So this lift was $12. Let's pull it out of weekend fun. 
So let's do 22 and then we'll put back 10. For this, so we'll call this weekend fun here. And then same for the Uber. The Uber was $12. So 10, 11, 12. Got that. So now in weekend fun, we just have a five, which is totally fine. Okay. And then I need this. I bought this sign for my sister-in-law's baby shower and it was $74. So let's see what we can do. I think I can pull some out of gifts or giving. Yeah. So 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 24 we'll pull out of there. So now we just need 50. So we'll do giving. And then we still need to pull out 50. How much do I have in spending? 25, 35. Let's pull out a 20 out of spending. need 30 let's see what's in gifts we need four dollars we need 30 what's in our buffer 10 15 20 we'll pull out 20 from buffer So minus 20, so we need 10 more, which I bet I have that in my cash envelope buffer. I was not expecting the sign that I ordered to be that expensive, so that was very unbudgeted. So we'll pull this 10 out of that buffer and that will zero us out. So now we paid off that unexpected expense. So thank you buffers for that. And now we should be able to finish everything off in big blue. Let's go back to our first page. So first up is let's do all the family vacation spending. So inside my travel envelope, I have a family vacay subcategory or family trips is what it's technically called. So we have $5 for airport snacks plus $26 for airport lunch, I think, plus $25 for Duncan that I paid for for the whole family, plus $144 that I paid for at this place on Cape Cod called the Beachcomber. So that's $200, so that is all of this. So we wiped out family trips with all of those, which is totally fine. And now, is there anything else in travel? Those are all seasonal activities. Okay, Minnesota Hotel, that's for a wedding I'm going to. And we are going to pull that out of weddings. And I have 500 in the bank. So 272, oops, 500 minus 272 is $228. So, you know, I'm just going to pull this out and put 220, 25, 26, 27, and 28, and then I'll transfer all of that money out of the bank, if that makes sense. This should be 228, 1, 2, 25, 26, 27, 28. Okay. So, there is that. So, I just need to transfer that money. And then, I think that's it for travel. 
And then I did decide to use um, to use seasonal activities because I did overspend for out of my family trips. So I just did any of the overspending I pulled for my summer seasonal activities category because we did a lot of fun summer things. Like we went to Cape Cod, we went to Fenway Park in Boston. So I felt like that could be pulled from summer pretty easily. So let's see, for summer activities we have, or seasonal activities, we have Fenway Park was $21 probably for food. I got some water in Boston for five and some soda, I think for three. So that's 29. And then plus 17 for a museum in Salem that my boyfriend and I went to. So that's 46. So let's put this back in like four ones. One, two, three, four. So that gets us totally done with this first unstuffing piece of paper. And then House of the Seven Gables we went to in Salem and that was $20. And then we had lunch for 45, which we'll need to pull out of our $100 placeholder. So let's do 45. And then parking in Salem was $4. One, two, three, four. So covered that in cash. And then that is it for seasonal activities. So we need to do 100 minus 45. So if we take this full hundred and transfer it out, then we have $55 left in summer activities. So we'll just do cash for that and I'll transfer that money out of the bank. So 55 in summer is left, even after all of that. And then let's see, we unstuffed this whole page. We unstuffed this whole page. So now we just have these last two charges, which are from my side hustle binder. We might have to move some money around because I thought I had enough money to buy my vlogging camera saved. And I think I was short a little bit, but let's see. So I ended up paying $8.54 because I got a camera and some accessories. And we have one, two, three, four, five, five fifty-six, six fifty-seven, seven twenty, thirty-five. So seven thirty-five. Okay, so we'll put all of that down. And I totally forgot to use my fetch rewards card, so this is still gonna be somewhere, but I'm gonna move it out of equipment. And then, so we need 119 to cover. Uh, let's, let's do office first. So let me write this down. 119 is what I need to cover the rest of that equipment charge, but in office, we spent 46. So I should have 54 in here. So 50, one, two, three, and four. And then we had 119 from equipment. So let's subtract four and do one, two, three, four. Let's call this equipment plus office. And then let's subtract 50, we'll put that down. So now office has nothing. So we still need $65. And let's pull that from products. just so I remember where I pulled this all from. So 50, 70, and then we'll put back a five. Okay. And then I'm gonna put this 50 fetch in products just to kind of make up for it. All right, so 
that is everything officially for the unstuffing, which is awesome. So now we get to count up how much we actually unstuffed out of all of my envelopes today. A lot of 50s. So this is everything we took out and let's give it a count. So we have 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000. Put it in here actually. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fifty, eight hundred, eight fifty, nine hundred, nine fifty, two thousand, two thousand and fifty, one, fifty, two, fifty, three, fifty, four, fifty, five, fifty, six, fifty, seven hundred, seven fifty, seven seventy, seven ninety, eight ten, eight thirty, eight fifty, eight seventy, eight ninety, nine ten, nine thirty, nine fifty, nine seventy. 990 and 3000, I do believe, but I'm going to count this one more time. Yes, so 3000 and 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 300, 310, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, 410, 25, 35, 45, 55, 60, 461, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 467. So 3,457. So 467, that's what it was. So $3,467 is what we unstuffed out of my sinking funds today, which is just absolutely wild. And that was from three weeks of spending, but obviously some big trips in there, some normal monthly spending plus, um, some, some side hustle spending plus some big wedding expense that hit for my friend's wedding that we're going to soon. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this very large unstuffing and now I'm going to take this to the bank or transfer out of my savings and pay off my credit card. Um, but that's it for today. This is how I kind of spend money and pay myself back and I hope it makes sense and I can do a more detailed walkthrough in the future. If that would interest you, just let me know down below and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.